If I were here in New Franklin, take a little break. Here, since I had all the gear on, I might just go through what we're wearing and and I'll put links at the bottom of everything. It's fairly inexpensive gear. Helmet-wise, I'll kind of go top to bottom. Helmet, we both have the same helmet. It's the uh, Giro's helmets, the new MIPS models for concussion safety. They're really comfortable and they fit our big heads, so that's really nice. Uh, you can notice the fancy little rain covers we have for our helmets. We've used these quite a few times over the last probably four or five years, and they're great to have because the rain doesn't run down on your hair and in your face. Plus they're bright, so that helps with safety. Usually we wear glasses. We wear um, Carhartt safety glasses that are sunglasses, and they, uh, they work really well for biking, plus if you get a rock thrown up, it uh, helps with that. I've got a, uh, a cheap neck gaiter on that I use over my ears and up my head to keep me kind of warm and keep my ears warm. When I'm riding in warm weather, I do wear um, a microfiber sweatband because it really helps me. They last about 15 miles or so, and I have to swap them out. Uh, wearing this uh, rain jacket, which I got just a little while ago, it's an Eddie Bauer one. It's kept me dry over two days of raining here on the Katy Trail, so it's worked really well. Plus, it's a brighter color. Julie has a uh, Columbia jacket that she wears, and that's been a trusty jacket for her. She has a little marmot uh, thing that she wears headband. with a headband, yeah, and neck band and gaiter and so on. She got a Tour, Mont Tour de Mont Blanc that we did a few years ago. If you want to, I'll put a link to our photo albums for that. That was a great tour. Um, as far as what I'm wearing down here on these uh, fancy little rubber covers for our sandals. We're biking in sandals when it's raining so we don't get our shoes really soaked. These are actually working really well. First time we've used them and they're a little slippy but uh, they work great. My feet are warm. And then uh, I'm a real big fan of Eddie Bauer stuff and I get their uh, guide series pants, the shorts that I'm wearing here. I really like them. They're kind of a cargo. You grab all, all sorts of stuff in your pants. Um, when we're biking in the rain, I use just a uh, sandwich bag, Ziploc, to keep my stuff dry. That works really well. And then I've got the leggings on. You can see a little dirty here, even though we do run uh, fenders. But these are really nice. Keep your legs warm and they don't get too too wet or anything like that. They seem to repel the water really well. I don't... Julie has some uh, Gander Mountain rain pants on. There are guide series rain pants that we've had for a long time and she likes those. I get too hot with them. As far as the bikes go, I've got a couple wet sacks. This one I just picked up off on Amazon and put on my handlebar, kind of jerry-rig it and it works well. Uh, you can see my handlebars are butterfly bars. I've been running those for about six months or a couple, almost a couple thousand miles. I like them because you can change hand positions. We have bike meters on our thing, cat's eyes. We like to have those just for the mileage. We both run mirrors. Mirrors are really good safety devices and something a must have, I think. I've got this little front pack I use all the time. It's got a little uh, cover. It's supposed to keep it dry, doing a minimal job at that, but probably better than nothing. And then the, the bag itself is quite, quite dry. I have my camera and I run a, uh, well, another phone in there for tracking our miles on ride with GPS and any other assorted snacks and so forth. Uh, we run flashers. I've got a front flasher for me. Julie doesn't have one, but we love these uh, cycle lights. They are bright and they, people really notice you and that's a real good safety feature to have. As far as bottles, just run two bottles. These are from our VBT trips that we took. They're a nice 20 some ounce bottles, carry a lot of water. My bike itself is an old Trek 7200, the first year they made them. It was just a seven speed cassette at the time. I'm running an eight speed on it, but only shifting seven because I put new uh, 14 gauge wheel on the back, which I really like. My old wheel was starting to pop a lot of spoke, so I put these on heavy duty. Okay, we bought, both run them. This is stock wheel still on the front. I replaced my forks because they were the uh, shock forks and you couldn't lock them I hated them so I got an old <laughs> a used Schwinn fork off of eBay and mountain and you can see we're running fenders which boy those have been great on this trip but we like it because uh, it keeps the stuff from throwing up and these are planet bike fenders great stuff uh, 
Our bike racks are really heavy duty ones. They're about 50 pounds, 55 pound capacity. Really like those. You can see my back flasher. Um, as far as panniers, we uh, run with the uh, Banjo Brothers because they're a local Minneapolis company. Support them and they're waterproof. They're not the highest capacity ones, but that's probably good. Keeps you from putting too much weight. I thought I had four of them, but I only had three. And I just grabbed a uh, wet bag I had for kayaking that we use. And it's working pretty well. Just kind of jerry-rig it on there with the bungee cord and a, uh, a nice little nylon cord. Carry an extra two uh, tire, just in case we're also carrying extra tubes each. We run the uh, Banjo Brother uh, bike bags. And you can see we hook up our flashers to those. Julie's bike is a Gary Fisher, which was bought by by Trek, unfortunately, but she likes it. it's a woman's bike, but it's a men's size frame. And for her being five foot ten, it works out really, really well. She has her water bottle mounted up here on the front bar and under under so she can carry she has a bag she uses also and a cycle meter and the Banjo Brothers Panairs and bike bag. And you can see we're using uh tarps. I had to bring the tarps because we're going to rent a minivan in St. Louis and drive back so we don't mess up the minivan and our bikes. So they worked out pretty nice to put over top of our bike bags as those aren't waterproof. So that's uh, in a nutshell, that's what we're running. Just thought I'd popped in my mind during a stop, I'd do it. Ciao. And of course I knew I'd forget something, but we, uh, we went with uh, these Michelin tires i swapped them out a couple days before we left and they run really nicely they're actually 35 we usually run a kenda which we really liked but i can't really get them anymore 28 millimeter went up to a 35 millimeter for this trip and has a little more tread but uh, i'm really glad i did i think uh you need a wider tire on the katie especially if you're gonna run into rain so that's worked out really well and they actually roll nicely on the uh pavement because you can get up to 80 pounds per square inch. So I think this is our tire for the future. As always, thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment and subscribe below. We'd love to have you subscribe and come along with us on our other adventures.